Just wanted to make a quick video on the old training, how's it going, uh, and what my FTP test was. So you can see here, got my little ride, four and a half hours, just lovely day out. Easy spin on the way there, a couple of little efforts to warm up the legs, and then we did 20 minutes at 311 watts, um, which from this is, looks very smooth. Uh, but it, it was not. It was extremely badly paced. Um, so the day before, because I hadn't run with power for three months, or maybe two months, uh, a long time, anyway. Um, so the day before, I went out on one of, one of my local climbs and just whacked it at like 3.30, 3.35, just to see how I was going to feel. Did it for like five minutes and was like, yeah, yeah, like, I can't do that. So I was like, oh, we'll try and hit 3.20 for the first five minutes. 3.20, we'll always try negative split. 326 for the first six minutes. I was feeling golden, man. I was like, no, it's going to be 325 to 330. This is solid. Like, I'm really happy with my numbers. And then, and then, and then I just cracked big time. And then, so for the first, you can see here that 322 watts for 10 minutes, right? And then after that, the second half of this, the last eight minutes was at 300 watts, and I was absolutely dying. Um, now. I was talking to my friend about this, old Ollie, and he, we were, he was saying, like, it is quite easy to do that because on Cheddar, the climb I do at Cheddar Gorge, it's, it's a lovely climb. Um, the only issue is you can see with the speed here is that you know, the first, you know, eight minutes at 5%, that's pretty good. Like, it's pretty steep at the beginning. Like, you can see it, this bit here is 6%, but then if we're really getting onto the climb, there's, you know, points where it's like 8% for three minutes or whatever. So obviously we're going to go harder. And then the last part, like, is literally like one percent false flat with like a downhill on some parts so it's really hard to hold the power so even on like my best efforts even when i paced it pretty well they're almost always like positively split so it is quite hard but even so obviously you can see i've blown up so um 311 watts for 20 minutes puts my ftp at 296 which is a three watt increase uh, which is which is not great um if we just go uh i don't know how the best way to show this but uh probably on my strava thing uh, but anyway, then, so I did that ride there, it was, it was very nice, for a half hours, you can see like it was going okay my week, but I got any issues on this ride, um, because basically I changed obviously from, you know, 165s to 170s, um, I'm an idiot, I've got to change my crank length, 5 mil made a difference, my knees hurt, so today I finally went out for an hour and a half, I was like easy, um, ish, I did a couple sort of like, I had to describe, but just seeing if I could actually ride a bike properly, um, I, I could, so, um, it's a bit annoying, but I'm feeling pretty strong. Obviously, this week was only like 11 hours, supposed to be 23. Like, I, I messed up quite a lot. Um, I, I should have just done this ride just after, like, it was literally hard. Like, 10 minutes was like, not be fine. Just go home, change that light. Maybe not even ride that day, it would be okay. But anyway, I took, I'd taken basically two days pretty much completely off the bike. Um, and I think it's it's good to go. So, um, the reason why I didn't make any gains, so my, my latest FTP test was like one of these weeks over here, right? Um, and then I just had like four weeks. I did one week where I actually did some efforts, but I had like four weeks off. So then obviously three weeks was decent. So I made gains. It's not bad. Like I'm, I'm keeping getting stronger, which is the main thing, but they're not, the, I really, really want to try and get back to th what I was last year, which is 350 watts for 20 minutes. I mean, it's going to be hard because I think the power meters don't read 100% perfect, but I really want to try and get to a super high FTP before I do hill climb stuff because that's my ultimate goal. Um, but anyway, so this week was a, a bit rubbish. Like, I don't know, wouldn't have gained anything, wouldn't have lost anything. Just, you know, week, an average week. Um, this week's going to be, you'll just take rest day halfway through, three day blocks, um, efforts on the, well, Monday, Friday, it should be decent. Um, and some gym stuff. So again, 1,000, 1,200 TSS. It's a bit odd this, but. Then, you know, a classic three hours, five hours, five hours, three and a half, five. So I'm full time at the moment because I still have a job. So it's pretty good. Um, just being able to get some good hours in and hopefully that will boost my FTP. Um, and yeah, there's still some more efforts here. And then FTP test. I'm going on holiday. I should be able to ride though, I think, um, when I'm on holiday. But obviously not as much because it'll be bad. So it's just bang out 20 hour weeks. My whole family's there on holiday. But um, even so, it's still pretty good. Um, obviously, my ramp test was pretty hilarious. Got 210 watts. So it's quite a lot higher than that. Um, but I think the biggest thing to really was that from if we look from like when I actually started riding again, um, sorry, this is my FTP. Well, my fitness went from like 60 to 90 in three weeks, which for a lot of people would be huge. But for me, it was, it was OK. Um, and I didn't really do any efforts. These were all really easy rides. This ride here, 
I, I didn't do any efforts on really on um, this ride. I did some three minute efforts on my mate just for lols and like I felt all right, but not strong. There's some tempo work here, but like this this these four hour blocks here. So it was what twelve or four and a half, four and a half, four and a half. They were all zone two, maybe zone three, but not not very hard at all. Um, it was the same with this week here as well. I I didn't really do any efforts at all. Um, you can see it was it was pretty decent. Um, but I'm almost certain I did no efforts on this ride either. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy to make gains just purely based on zone two, but I I know that's always the case. Um, so yeah, yeah, this one you can see I um didn't do any efforts on it. Um. I was with my mate, he was doing some efforts, like three efforts, but they were, they were not that taxing. So I managed to gain like, what, four watts in three weeks-ish, but obviously I took time off, so it's a bit complicated. But basically, made gains riding zone two, so I'm very confident that I'll make some good gains. In the next, if I can do this next three weeks, which is perfect, um, I'm probably going to try and whack a six or seven hour ride, six hours here, but I might try and do longer, just because i got the time, and I feel like... Three hours now is very cash, four hours is getting normal, and I just want to get to the point where I can do five hours and it's not too much of an issue. Um, just because it, it, the endurance keeps a long time. Um, and I know personally for myself that once I've done a big endurance block, I, if I, you know, this has obviously got threshold, so it's not perfect, like so sort of polarized, but I know as soon as I start doing VO2, like my, my threshold just flies. So I'm really trying to, um, obviously it'd be better if I did lactate testing and I could like show, you know, like that, most of my power is coming from the more aerobic base for my like twenty minute test, which I I'm just, I know it is. Um, I know aerobically I'm never gonna, not that as strong, so that's why I'm really trying to get these long, sort of long weeks out with stuff at threshold. I could do more tempo work, but I just find I sometimes get too tired doing it and can't hit the real good numbers with um the threshold. Um, so yeah, I think obviously it'd be pretty interesting to do some lactate testing and show that that is the case, but I'm, I'm pretty certain it is that anaerobic system is a lot stronger. Um, so I'm really trying to get the aerobic system up and then make, make that huge. And I know in September when I start doing proper hill climb efforts, um, that like my short power will just, will just zoom because it always does, um, for me, luckily. Um, but I often find like zone two, I don't make as many gains as I probably should do. Um, but anyway, my goal, hopefully, um, I've got an FTP test here, it won't be an 8-minute, I'm probably going to do another, I, I could, the only thing with the 8-minute test, okay, is I, I've i got a climb, which is 8 minutes, like, there are loads of climbs around here, there are 8 minutes, so I can do it perfect, so it's on the climb the whole time, but I'd prefer to do the 20, just because um, you can boast on Strava about your numbers, uh, like, just kidding, but I, I find the 20-minute test is more beneficial for me, because as I said before, 8 minutes, I can just VO2 max it, and just get stupid FTP that is, like, probably accurate ish but it's probably a little bit higher than it should be so i prefer 20 minute test just because i think it's more um it, it's more accurate for me i reckon if i was less vo2 driven then maybe i'd do more of the eight minute test but i do like it i do like it um but yeah so I, my plan is 20 minute test on the 5th of july or 5th of august it will be um and hopefully um we'll be able to get like 330 maybe which is 20 watts but i paced that bad i think if i paced it like 315 flat Probably could have got 315 to 320. Nah, not 320, sorry. Probably 315 three to 317, 318. Um, so goal is going to be try to get 325, 330. But I'll have power numbers. Like, obviously, like on these sessions, if I'm, you know, if the average power duration during these over-under sessions, let's say, that, now, like, before they were approaching 300, so I thought my FT was probably like 300, which it probably was before I stopped riding for a month. Um, so if, you know, it's going up, I'm doing those efforts at 315, 316, then I know obviously my FTP is going to be more like 330, 340, which, um, sorry, my 20 power is going to be 330, 340, which is good. So that's what we're trying to aim for. Um, and hey, just watching, hope you enjoyed. If you've got any questions, um, about my training or anything, or like what sort of principle I follow, um, just, just let me know. Um, I'm very happy to answer them. And, uh, yeah, follow me on Strava as well. Uh, we're going to whack a thousand by the end of the year, I reckon. And that's the goal anyway. Uh, yeah, just watching and I'll see you.